Hey everyone, I hope you're all staying safe and healthy at home. It's been a while since my last video and yeah, today we'll be taking a look at Alexander Spayakov UV Toolkit 2.0 for Blender. So let's dive in. Well, here we have a demo scene I've been working on and to showcase uh, where the add-on is located. Let's start by right-clicking here on the corner of the window um, and clicking Shift F10 to go directly to the UV panel. Here, if you click in, you have the uh, Tools tab and here we have the UV Toolkit right on the bottom here. I'm also using UV Pack Master, which is another add-on I reviewed. Uh, a couple of uh, a couple of months ago, if you want to check that video. Um, so very good that Alex made it available in similar fashion on the same tab. Uh, that makes everything that is UV related very easy to access and very easy to to find. It's straightforward here. If you go, uh, you have toggle UV sync. Nothing new. You have access to that uh, by default. Uh, he also have other options such as scenes from islands that you can also find uh, directly here on the UV menu, scene from islands. So the fact that he's just exposing these same operators on the this interface uh, can be useful for some people, especially if he is a quick favorite guy and you like assigning shortcuts to these buttons a lot. Um, but let's go, let's dive into what this add-on and what I believe people will actually be buying this add-on, which is for the different operators uh, he created for straighting UVs uh, and gridifying things, which is kind of different from follow active quads that we have nowadays. Um, aligning options that is very welcome for managing multiple UV islands at the same time, let's say, uh, I select these guys here and click align to the top. Uh, you can pretty much do that very quickly by selecting the mode islands here. So you can, you can see here, I can quickly toggle that up. Uh, let's move on here with the documentation. So he made a very good documentation that if you come to help settings here down below, you can, you can be read directly to the site. And here you can see all the different comments and options for the add-on. So you can take a look, uh, uh, try it out yourself and apply all the different uh, commands and understand and learn the add-on uh, deeply. Also, uh, he made available the settings options here. You can come to UV Toolkit and you can remap all the hotkeys. This is very welcome. Uh, you can also remap the buttons inside the time menu. So let's say you have a custom operator, okay? He wrote a custom Python script. You can put your Python operator here and it will execute that. This allows for, uh, whoa, a amplitude of options that you can go beyond if you know how to do that. And uh, aside from that, very good, very good help settings, uh, general and also uh, dark or light icons if you're using a light theme, um, which is not the case here. Uh, one thing that I liked a lot was the mirror scene command. I think that is very useful and the quick presets one. So you, I can quickly come here, select, let's say uh, 2000, and it will automatically apply a 2K square texture to all my materials, okay? And it will re replace the material with that one. As soon as I finish UVing, let's say I made a quick change to my UVs here, and I click it, uh, unwrap. Okay, so I unwrap this, unwrap this again. 
and I'm finished with this, I can come here to remove all shaker materials and it will automatically come to the material that was applied, uh, applied right after. So this is a very time saving option that you don't find building in Blender right now. Um, but I have found some problems with this, especially when you have materials with more than, uh, you have objects than more than two materials and you try to, let's say, create a shaker map, it won't apply it. You actually need to only have one material applied and this is a very downside. I hope the developer could fix that option. Um, let's try smart UV wrapping this again and voila, you have very clean UVs. Uh, building such as this is very good to UV map because they are very blocky shapes. It doesn't require much organic uh, things, but uh, the good thing that this add-on provides is the option to straighten a geometric and no manifold islands. So what I mean by that is especially uh, curvature such as a torus, okay, or a cylinder that is very rounded, you want some type of, type of control when unwrapping this kind of uh, uh, geometry. So if I click Ctrl F, Mark Scene, and I come here to a 2K texture, I can unwrap it. Um, however, you see that we have some distortions here, okay? If I come to image um, overlays and turn on stretching, you can see, okay, this is relatively good, but if you set by area, you can see that we have some stretching here, this green area, and this is the not good for some. So what you could do if you don't have this add-on is come here to face select, select the middle square of this texture, going to search and searching uh, follow active quads, okay? And it will automatically straighten that island for you. However, uh, this is too many steps for you to take. I personally don't like this approach. So if I click Ctrl Z here, you see that Alexander made these options available by default on the menu here, okay? So if I go to per se, um, where it is, it's trading UVs and select trading UVs, it will automatically ap apply the same options. It's way faster and you can even click, right click it and assign a shortcut or add to quick favorites, okay? So you can click Q and you can have uh, access to it right here. Uh, very good comment. Also, he also included another similar one, but more for per se uh, Atlas and light map textures in which you can basically gridify your textures, okay? Uh, and depending on the geometry, you should use gridify or straining UVs, okay? Uh, it's not a rocket science, okay? So it varies depending on your geometry. Okay, now let's say we have uh, a piece of geometry that is symmetrized like this building here, and you have uh, one piece and the other pretty much the same, uh, and you want to, let's say, uh, stack these islands together because you want to uh, reutilize that on this, the game engine. Uh, what you can do that and, and to save space especially and select this and select this and you have two islands identical on the same size. You can pretty much come here, select one and go to uh, stack similar and it will automatically pack the island that uh, is exactly the same vertex coordinate and stack on top of, of, of the same. So now if I move it, we have the same two islands stacked together. And yeah, you can also set your own shaker maps if you like creating shaker maps 
for yourself uh, and you don't like the default planner one, you could come to settings and here you have check your maps folder. And here he already gave us some different styles, you know, uh, I'm not a particular big fan of those, but uh, you can replace these textures and the add-on will use these textures uh, as their checker map reference, okay? Uh, you can use that. I wish that alongside with the battery name UV sets, he also gave us the option to um, Mult uh, multiple apply UVs and remove UV sets from multiple object objects at once. I think that would be very, very welcome. Uh, right now, there really isn't a way that we can uh, select multiple objects, uh, create plus, and have the all the objects have the same UV, new UV map applied. You have to do that on a per object uh phase and it's not very time uh worthy to do that so if he adds an option for us to uh remove and add uh, uv sets uh, from one object to another that would be interesting as well uh especially for environment uh, environment art and areas that we use that a lot so in terms of price, I know that $90 may sound a little steep and high for some of you. Uh, for me, I believe it's a very good uh, value in terms of money and supporting Alex. If you're considering purchasing, uh, please do it uh, throughout Gunroad. That way that money goes directly to Alex and you support him directly. If you're feeling like supporting Blender Foundation as well, I don't know if he said that option, but he's selling on Blender Market as well. And if you buy throughout that, he gets less money, but I think part of the commission goes to the Blender Market and also the Blender Foundation. Uh, just for a disclosure, uh, all the links on my descriptions are uh, affiliate links. So I, I make some part of the of the revenue for this channel that helps keeping the, the lights here up and me posting videos every once in a while. I also have my own gun road as well if you wanna support me uh, buying the Blender team that I, I do for $3. Uh, that helps me a lot and um, thanks a lot guys. Till next time. Hit me on Twitter if you have cool add-ons and if you think it's worthy to review them here. Until next time, best.